Please fasten your seat belts. All right, here's another example. Let's uh, load an AVI file containing a short sequence of uh, a scene that was shot at a fairly high zoom without stabilization. And uh, what you can see here is that there's a little bit of jitter, a little bit of movement on the camera. Right. Now, th there's a good place right here where the monkey has its uh, foot uh, stuck on that pole and uh, that's not moving. So that's a good reference point. Uh, actually, the cord going around here too. You don't want to focus on the face because that one's moving. Basically, you want to look for something in the scene that's static, that's uh, not supposed to move, and that's um, that you can lock on. So, you know, perhaps some part of this uh, cloth here would be working also. Or even some of those leaves in the background. Let's go and uh, focus on the foot. So what I'll do is stop the animation here, make sure we're on the first frame. There's a total of, what, about 238 frames in this one. Let's go filter, animate it, come on, there you go, um, stabilize. And the first thing we'll do is we'll identify the tracking point. So click that and say, let's go right there where the toes are. And you'll see a little highlighted red box, that's the block size. We don't need a big one, there's not. There's no other shapes that look close to this. This one up here, this hand is similar, but it's quite different still. So we can probably go with a fairly small block size. And if we are confident that it's not moving too much, we don't have to have a very large search area. Um, probably something like this will be just fine. Let's go and all the way remove the motion. And so while it's doing this, it's essentially scanning and searching for the block and uh, hopefully we'll be able to stabilize the whole clip that way. Let's go play it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now you see the edges uh, a little bit shifting sideways and that's normal and to be expected. But at some point we can crop that and fix it that way. So we need to identify how far we can crop it. Because this one here, for instance, at the top, you see how, uh, how much it's going to go down. And so probably uh, we'll need to go something like a uh, rectangular selection about this much. Right, let's go select about this much and identify. Perhaps we can set the selection to overlay alpha so we can see it better. And then at this point, if we scrub through it, uh, there it is. If we scrub through it, is there any place where the the moving edge is also si coming in still, or are we outside, are we in the safe zone here? I think we're pretty good with this. Uh, there it comes up a little bit, but it's not too bad. So let's go and crop to that, crop to this uh, selection, and it will crop not just this image, but the whole clip, and now it's stabilized. Oh, we still have the alpha channel, <laughs> the selection mask here, let's go. Uh, click that uh, overlay, uh, overlay off and make sure that we don't have that. So there you go. So now we have stabilized this original video. Now it's a little bit smaller and if we need it back to the original size we can go force that. In fact, let's see what we cropped it to. That's one thing you need to be aware of if, before you save it to AVI because yep, we have some odd numbers now for the width and the height and that would not be good for most uh, codecs. Most AVI codecs don't like it if you have odd numbers. At least even numbers or multiples of 4, multiples of 8 even better. And in some cases probably the best is multiple of 16 and uh, that is certainly something you'll want to pay attention to. So maybe we can go and resample this now to the original size which was what 640 by 360 and there you go and uh, let's keep it at best calculate best quality and so now it's resizing it upwards a little bit to the original dimensions so here we go and let's play it so now we have nicely stabilized our little, little monkey orangutan all right let's do a quick comparison of before and after <laughs> 